Today, I'm going to build the best team I possibly can in exactly three hours of Hockey Ultimate Team. Whether you just got the game off of EA Play or the Game Pass, or you've been playing since the beginning, hopefully I can help you out here today, give you some tips and tricks on how to have a good team, and how to get it somewhat quickly. Now, I have done stuff like this in the past. This is a brand new account that I'm starting here, so we're not going to have the previous cards on the team, but we're going to take the things that we learned from doing the previous videos and apply them to this video, and hopefully build a team that we can use in online gameplay in only three hours. Now, if you have any questions regarding Hockey Ultimate Team, how to have good players, how to do things fast, how to finish Hot Rush fast, anything like that, please leave them down below and I'll try my best to help you out. Well, let's go ahead and get started with our Hockey Ultimate Team, three-hour team. Now, here's the deal. I am not going to start this with the starter pack. Like, I'm not going to start the timer yet. We're going to go through it. We're going to look at our cards. And then when we get to the main menu is when we're going to start this. So uh, I did choose the Nashville Predators as my favorite team. I just went with a random one. We have our X Factor there. Let's see what else we get, though. We got Marco Casper, I seen. Okay, so we got an icon to start out. Maybe you do get one guaranteed. We have uh, Mark Recchi. Cool. Awesome. So we get Recchi. We have Forsberg. And we have our X Factor. And our X Factor is going to be who? Who are we getting? We're adding, bang, Drew Doughty. Actually, a really good one to get. So uh, we'll go ahead and build their team. We'll send everyone into the team right now. First line of Forsberg, Casper, and Recky. Not upset by this. This is kind of, kind of good. Where are all the silvers and bronze players? It would appear that EA has stopped giving starter pack silver and bronze players, and we got an icon in ours. Very strange. I don't remember that being a thing, but maybe that's something that they've changed. But regardless, we're gonna get started. And again, um, I'm not gonna start the timer yet. I want to do the tutorial because I'm pretty sure you get stuff for doing the tutorial. Okay, so the tutorial is right there. We can go through that after. We don't need to worry about it. That's fine. Um, I'm not starting yet. We have our daily free pack. We'll open that up. There we go. Yep, perfect. We get two silver players, 200 coins, whatever. doesn't matter. And now what I'm going to do, so I'm going to scroll to the team. We're going to take a look at exactly what we have, what we can do. We start out with 200 coins, and we're going to start the timer after we get through all of these messages. You see, here's the thing. This is what I want to get rid of. These messages, they take up so much of your time, and I don't want to deal with that while starting this out. I'm not going to lie to you. So getting rid of these is really going to help. So we'll go ahead and do this. Move stuff around. Yep, yep, perfect. Yep, perfect. Yep, get rid of that. They didn't have Drew Doughty in our starter spot. Of course, we want to have Drew Doughty in here. So we're going to put Drew Doughty on the squad. He has to be on the team. He's our only X Factor at the moment. So here we go. We have our team. Okay, I'm happy. Let's go ahead and get the timer going. All right, the timer's on the screen. When that hits exactly three hours, we're going to start this team build. Looking at it right now, we have an 82 Forsberg to start. We have the 82 Recky. We have the Drew Doughty X Factor. And we have an 82 goalie in John Gibson. We're starting out kind of good right now. Now, the plan today is to do a little bit of everything, right? I want to do Hut Rush so we can get some packs and collectibles. I'm definitely going to hop into Hut Moments because Moments, one, can get you an absolute ton of coins at the very beginning of your journey. But two, you can earn players, right? There's a 94 Eiserman, there's a 93 Barzell, there's a Sarah Nurse available, the new Robertson is available through moments, and there's some other players that can really help boost your team while not being super high overall that you can get very easily through moments. So I'll probably do a bunch of those as well here today. Definitely going to play some squad battles, try and get some objectives done to earn coins and packs. But we have three hours to play around with. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Let's have some fun here today. If you guys are new, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more stuff like this, please leave a like and let's get started. Go. All right. We are all set. Save our changes and let's go ahead and build the best team possible in exactly three hours. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the store and we're heading over to the store because there is a free pack that you can buy. Uh, it just has, oh, training camp set pack as well. Cool. Okay. So we're going to get something out of here. Perfect. Love it. Thank you. Uh, we're going to get ourselves 277 overalls. Now, these players are not going to make the team. However, we can do a set with them. So that's perfect. And we're also going to get our Stanley Cup pack. This is the one I was talking about. So when we open this up, you're guaranteed a gold player and one Stanley Cup collectible. Will we get anything? We get nothing. Uh, we get a 78 overall. So probably not going to make the team. Not for what I have planned here today. Now, is there anything else in the store for us to grab for free? Doesn't look like it. Let's go through the tutorial super quickly here and get a bunch of coins. Now, I'm just going to spam everything I can here to get stuff done. Um, and, and doing this will allow us to get... A mini pack, which, I mean, you're not going to get anything in the mini pack, right? But we're getting some objectives done. Objectives are very good to get us some players and uh, coins throughout the year. If you want to see how to get a ton of coins, I think it works over to like over a million coins just from objectives. All right, we have our first earned pack of the year. It's a mini pack. Are we going to get anything? Probably not. I'm just going to skip it. But we do see some silver players. We got a couple jerseys. Nice. All right, so we're going to go to the training camp sets. Um, we have those 77 overall players. 
Well, with those 77 overall players, we can trade them in right now. And we're going to get ourselves not only a 79 overall Robertson, but we'll also get a training camp collectible. So getting that training camp collectible will be in our inbox. We'll send this to the collection. And then we'll use the training camp collectible to get a mini pack. So that's going to be right here, our first set. Although we've already completed the set to get the collectible. There we go. We have that done. That's another mini pack. Are we going to get anything good? Probably not. But this is about building the collection. So now we have another mini pack. Am I expecting anything in it? Obviously not, but we'll go ahead and skip it. And look at this. We got a 79 Tanner Janot. That's better than what we have on the team right now. But because we did that, we have those sets done and whatnot. We now have the daily done. That's another 300 coins. And if we head over to the training camp, we have our first set done. That's another 500 coins. Now, unfortunately, because I'm doing this, the auction house is locked. I cannot use the auction house. So uh, with the coins that we get here today, I'm not totally sure what I want to do. And the very first thing I want to do is I'm going to head over the moments. I'm going to go to the next gen moment. And we are going to do the moment right here for 86 overall, Jason Robertson. The game is on rookie. You should be able to get this done pretty easily. Now, you do have to use your actual team for this moment. That doesn't apply to all of them. And here we go. We have our, uh, our moment started. We just need to score one goal and then waste time. That's literally all we need to do. So what I'm going to do is win the draw. Uh, I'm just going to give the puck to Forsberg, who happens to be our best player. And I'm just going to wait for some space to open up. And I'm also going to kill some time on the clock. These are two minute periods. It's not going to take a ton of time. And it's definitely worth doing to get the Jason Robertson to start your team. But yeah, we're just going to waste time. You can see how quickly the clock is going down here. The AI doesn't really attack you too much because it's on rookie. So you can just skate around for the most part and not worry about it. And uh, eventually you need to score a goal on this. So we'll go ahead and do that here. Forsberg in shoot scores. There we go. We have our goal. Now what I'm going to do, because we have the lead, I can continue wasting time. I don't need to take shots, make passes, anything like that. I just need to finish the game. Now, the best way to do this, in my opinion, is to go behind the net. What you want to do, and I do this in squad battles as well, go behind the net and the AI, for whatever reason, does not chase you while you're behind the net. So you can kill off a ton of time on the clock. It'll go as quickly as possible and you can get your cards as fast as possible. The first period's done. I'm going to go ahead and do that for two more periods and we'll get our 86 overall Robertson, which is then going to help us in squad battles because we have a decent overall player where we can start doing some dekes and whatnot to get more collectibles and coins. All right, game is done. We have that finished. And now we get to claim our 86 overall Jason Robertson. This is going to be a really good card for us to add to the team. So let's go ahead and grab him and put him on the squad. Now, if you want to get some more coins and get some collectibles to upgrade this Robertson, you can do all of these moments. I'm not going to do that right now. I am going to claim the coins here. We get 500 coins there. We get a collectible for a headliner player. We're going to do that right now. So we completed one game. We get this collectible. And what we can do with this collectible is we can trade in five of them for a power up, or we can use one to get an 82 overall player. And that's what I'm going to do right now. Now, I think we need help on defense. So Adam Fox is a defenseman here. We need one collectible for Adam Fox. There we go. Adam Fox gets added to the team. Now that that's done, we've added Robertson, we have his brother next to him here, and we have Recky, and now the team is looking a little bit better. You know, we've upgraded the squad just a little bit. Here's a look at the defense. This has been improved, and we're actually going to upgrade Drew Doughty right now. So that way he's at 76, he goes up to a 79 for 500 coins. That is a good upgrade for us. He gets that speed boost, whatever else here. Now, how much does he need for his next upgrade? We're going to need 3250. So that's the next goal, get 3250 and get Doughty up to an 82. Now we have that Robertson and we can go ahead and start doing some of these Robertson objectives to get ourselves an upgraded Robertson and get him up to an 88 overall by doing 94 Deeks. If you scroll all the way to the bottom here, 94 Deeks will get you one of those next gen collectibles. That collectible can be traded in to upgrade Robertson to 88. We'll also get a four goal player pack, a two goal player pack, a base pack and 500 coins. So I'm going to hop into a two minute squad battle game. You can do this on any difficulty. I'm just going to do it on rookie. So that way, you know, it's the easiest way to get this done. And I have a little tip on how to get this specific objective done quickly. All right, so we're going to hop into our game here. Now, obviously, we need Robertson to do things for us. So that is the important thing. So we have Jason Robertson. And remember what I just showed you about going behind the net? Well, we're going to do that again here. And we're going to go behind the net, wait for the AI to stop moving. And we're just going to do toe drags. And we're going to do this 94 times. Now, yeah, it's, it's kind of mind numbing. It's kind of dumb. But you're going to get some packs, you're going to get some coins, you're going to get some collectibles, and it's really going to help out your team very quickly. So I'm just doing toe drags here. Um, to do a toe drag, you just move the stick. I did show this in the last video of me actually doing this as well. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get this done, then maybe get some shots off or whatever. Just trying to complete as many objectives as possible in this game. You can see it's tracking for us already. We're already at over 40 at this point. It's tracking how many deeks we're doing. We need to do 94 of them to get everything done. This should be no problem. All right, so that should be done. I'm going to double check here, but look at all of the objectives I have done here. All of this done, I haven't even spent two minutes. I haven't finished one period yet, so 
Uh, we have a bunch of these done here. Now, what else can we do with Robertson? He needs shots. He needs hits. He needs assists. So what can we do with X Factors or Power Up Icons? So assist snapshots with Drew Doughty, or we can do Deeks with Mark Recchi to get 2,500 coins. We can probably get more than that. If we can get like 100 of these done, that's 10,000 coins right there. All right, so let's give that puck to Recchi. Recchi's going to go behind the net. We're going to do the exact same thing we just did with Robertson with Recchi, and we're just going to spend some time doing this. And it's one game, six minutes in total, and you're going to get a ton of coins for doing this. An absolute ton of coins and players and collectibles, guys. I, I know it's kind of mind-numbing, but we are 20 minutes in and we're going to have a decent amount of coins and we already have an 8 we'll have an 88 overall player. I, I think this is definitely worth it. Again, you just curl the right stick from the left to the right. Um, it, it's really simple to get these done. I know uh, it says toe drag when you're on total control is square. It's not. That is not that toe drag. That is a dot suk. Just... Be aware, if you're playing on total control, to do a toe drag, you curl the right stick. You do not use the square button. All right, the game is done. We're going to go ahead and collect all of our objectives, and we're going to have tons of objectives completed. All I did that entire game was do deeks. That's it. All I did the entire game was deeks, and just doing that is going to unlock an absolute ton of stuff for us. So let's go ahead and see what we have. All right, so how many objectives do we have complete? 11 objectives complete from that. So... Five from the Jason Robertson one. We're getting 500 coins, a base pack, a two-gold player pack, a four-gold player pack, and our next-gen collectible. From the headline is Redux, we got the Deke stun, so we get another 82 overall player from here. And from Power Up Icons, we're getting 12,500 coins. That's going to help us with our upgrades. So we're going to open up our packs, and then we'll get our 82 overall headliner player, and we'll upgrade our Robertson here. We get an 81 Manji Apani, and we get an 82 Chris Letang. That's definitely going to help the team. We got a two-gold player pack and a four-gold player pack here, so let's see what we are able to get with there. Nothing here, but more players that we're going to be able to trade in later. Hopefully get an icon or something done. Four-gold player pack, hoping for at least an 84 or something. Nothing here. Uh, Barabanov, what's up? With this collectible, I'm going to go for a center because our center depth isn't exactly the greatest. Um, Marie Philippe Poulet is a great option, or we have Evgeny Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov, more of a winger. Let's go ahead and add MPP to the team right now. I'm also going to upgrade Jude Doughty now that we have the coins. We need to do something with the coins since we can't use the auction house. So 3,500 down the drain for Jude Doughty. He's up to an 82 overall. That's definitely going to help as well. The next one is 20,000 or base Doughty. Odds of us pulling base Doughty probably pretty slim. We may have to buy the next upgrade, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and upgrade Jason Robertson. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and purchase the next tier. We have that one next gen collectible. And now Jason Robertson is an 88 overall. Another look at the team now, we have Robertson with MVP and Recky, Barabanov, Robertson with Forsberg, Mangiapani, Curl, and Stenlin, then Dorofayev, didn't say that name right, Lashinsky, didn't say that name right, and Tanner Janot. Defense now has 282s, 382s on it, and we still have John Gibson in net. Let's figure out what we're going to do next. Now, this is an interesting thing to do. Um, it's definitely going to help if you need quick coins and packs and whatnot. I'm hopping into a moment where overtime is immediate. Now, let me explain why, because I'm only getting three gold players and 500 coins from this, right? Well, if I do this two times, I'm also going to get another thousand coins. But the plan here is to do this, you know, 20 times. And if I do that 20 times, not only do I get another two gold player pack, I get an 80 to 82 overall choice pack. I get another 2000 coins, another mini pack. There's a base pack at 25. If I do this all 55 times, I'll finish an absolute ton of these objectives. And I think it's going to help us out. I want to get at least that premium pack done. Maybe get to the 83 overall choice pack at some point. I'm going to do this a few times. And to get this done as quickly as possible, I'm going to put the puck in my own net. We're going to let it complete. And then we're going to restart. And we're going to do this over and over and over again. Mindless, but going to help you out really quickly. And it's not going to take a lot of time. Uh, I'm going to spend six minutes doing this. Six minutes only. We'll see how far I get along. Five minutes later. All right. So the six minutes is about up. We'll try and get uh, a goal here. So we can finish the uh, objectives for this one. So we get the three gold players and whatnot in the coins. And uh, we'll go ahead and claim everything. Upgrade our team, and uh, I think we're going to hop into Hot Rush next. Now, I know we have at least four objectives completed there. I think it'll be more than four, though, but I could be wrong. Let's go ahead and take a look. And it's five, so it was a little bit more. We got a 1,000 coins here. We're going to head over to Milestones. And under Milestones, we have a two-gold player pack, an 80-82 overall choice pack, and 2,000 coins. If you did three more of them, we get another mini pack. And under Training Camp, we got another 500 coins there. Go ahead and open up our packs here, claim what we can, and then we're going to go ahead and hop in the hot rush, try and get some stuff done over there, earn some more packs, some coins, some players, whatever, and then we're going to go ahead and do uh, moments and get maybe a 94 Iserman or any of the, the players available in moments. There's a lot of them, 
but I want to make sure that we have at least all 80s on the team before we move on to getting the higher overall players. I want to make sure the entire team is usable. You know what I mean? 80 and 82 overall choice pack. Hoping for an 82, of course. We do not get... Oh, we do get... We got Jimmy Ben. Perfect. So Jimmy Ben will be who we grab. Highest overall player in the pack. Add him to the team. Let's hop into Hot Rush. Now, we have 15,000 coins. Let me take a look at something super quickly. Reki's first upgrade, I believe, is coins, and it's going to be 5k. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, maybe... Next one is 15, so we would need 20 to get him up to an 84. I want to get Doughty up, so we're going to wait, but I may still do that in the future, but I do want to get Drew Doughty upgraded again. Uh, one of the better defensemen you can get in the X-Factor is actually probably the best defenseman X-Factor you can get. I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing Hut Rush. It's a lot of tiers this week. Um, I'm going to find an easy one that I can get done really quickly, a lot of easy stuff. Make manual saucer passes, perform windmill deeks. Um, and make poke checks. I can probably get that all done in one game here. So it'll give me a couple hundred thousand. That couple hundred thousand will get me up to, say, the base pack with the goals I score and whatnot. I'd like to get a little bit higher than that. I may do a few games here. Now, when playing Hut Rush, I always switch over to Total Control. I normally play on Skill Stick, but on Total Control, you can score Michigan goals and whatnot. You get an absolute ton of points for doing it. I highly suggest if you're playing Hut Rush, always play on Total Control. We're going to try and get a bunch of objectives done in this game. Um, I'm not going to make you watch me play Hot Rush, but I will show you a few things that I do here to get a lot of points and get objectives done. So manual sauce pass is easy. I'm just going to tap R1 25 times and get myself 25,000 points. That's going to unlock the first tier at least. Another good way to get a lot of points really quickly is to do uh, hip checks like that. You uh, free the puck up pretty easily and go in, score. Scoring goals, doing multiple actions is the way to do it. You see, I got 4,200 points for that goal. If I just took the backhand shot, I would have only gotten 1,200 points. Also, I'm playing on Semi-Pro. I just wanted to point that out. Uh, Semi-Pro and Rookie are very similar to each other. But Semi-Pro, you get a little bit of a bonus for doing everything at the very end. Um, it's not going to make a huge difference. But again, if you're just starting out, I would suggest playing on Semi-Pro. Just get that extra little bonus. It'll help you out with the, uh, the, the squad battle points. Trying to get as many done as possible, as fast as possible. All right, now I just need one more backhand shot here. We'll get a bunch of uh, stuff done. So there's my backhand shot. Get the goal perfect. The game is over. It's first to five. Now, how many points I'm going to get for that one game? We get 26, but we get the 1.35 multiplier. So 235,000 for that one game. I am going to do at least one more. Not in this one. We'll move over to a different one to get more objectives done. I want to get as many of these tiers done as possible, as quickly as possible. We're still less than an hour in. I think we're doing very well so far. Um, so we want to get to probably at least... I don't know how far I want to get here. I I'd say I want to get probably the seven collectibles there at 745. So we're going to try and get that high. Now we're hopping into a hut rush where you get to draft your team. You get to use different players throughout the game, not your own team. So I'm doing this one on Superstar. On Superstar, you get an absolute ton of points for every action you do. 3.25 times the amount of points you would normally get on playing on Rookie. So we're going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to get all the objectives done that I can. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time in this game. We're going to do one period and that's going to be it. Get the objectives done, and then I will meet you guys back for the final game of Hot Rush. All right, that game didn't go quite as planned. I got some objectives done. Not nearly as much done as I wanted. We're doing another one. I don't care. Um, it will take another four minutes. We're officially over one hour in. But I want to get as many points as possible. I want those diamond collectibles. I think that's going to be very helpful. Five minutes later. All right, that's done now. We should have uh, one more game to play here so we can get enough of the bronze collectibles or the hot rush collectibles to get diamond collectibles, which we can then trade in for a player. Uh, that's something I think that would really help out the team. So we're going to play one more game of hot rush. We're at uh, an hour and six minutes in so far. We're at 473,000 points. We have one more game that they want to do. Should be able to get this done fairly easily. This is another one that you can do uh, by drafting a team. And it's going to be a lot easier for you. You don't have to use your base team. So uh, hop in, get what you need to get done, and uh, get out. All right, that game is done. We should get a bunch of points for that 125 there. We should get a little bit over 200. I don't think we have enough for what I wanted to do, though. Damn, I might have to do one more. This is taking longer than I wanted it to. All right, hold on. Let's go open up our packs, see what we get, and then we can make a decision on if we want to play one more game. Well, first of all, we have some objectives to claim. We have a headliner. There we go. It's another 82 guarantee. We get a premium pack for completing objectives and in training camp. We another 500 coins here. Perfect. Now we have a bunch of packs to open up here. Hopefully we can get something good. Two gold player pack. We're going to go through these as quickly as possible. Skip everything because we don't want to spend a lot of time here. And the more gold players we get, the better. If we can get 40 gold players, we can do an icon pack and get ourselves like a Nick Lidstrom, a Paul Coffey, someone like that to add to the team that would really help out on the defense. Two gold player pack. And then, yeah, of course, we want those uh, those Hut Rush collectibles. We get a Sprong at an 80. I'm pretty sure the Rush collectibles can be traded in for Diamond collectibles. And two Diamond collectibles, I think, gets you a player. 
And if that's the case, we want to get that player. You know what I mean? So going through this as quickly as possible, hopefully going to get something good. But again, a lot of packs, a lot of players, a lot of coins, a lot of stuff that's going to help us, you know, fill the collection and whatnot as we're going along. All right, three gold player pack. Come on, EA. Give us something for the team. Anything. Not even the color change, man. Sucks. Come on. Just want some like 82s, 83s, 84s, something to help fill out the team, fill out the roster a bit. You know, we get 300 coins there. Nothing else really in the pack. Four gold player pack. Come on. And look at, we got a lot of players here. We got an 81 Johansson. You know what? That's better than what we have right now. He'll probably make the team. Premium pack here. Hopefully we can get like a power up collectible or something to help out. Anything like that would help. Bunch of jerseys in there, but not what I'm looking for. Four gold player pack. Come on. Give us a, like an 83 or something. Anything to add to the team. Nothing. Another premium pack. I wonder what one, this one's for. Probably from Rush, because we have one premium pack that we got from Objectives as well to do. Now, we're getting a lot of silver players, and that's going to be good. So I want to trade in... Oh, we have an EA Play mini player pack. Six gold players, at least 282 or better. This is very good. All right, this is from Heart Rush. 282 or better guaranteed in the pack. We get Troy Terry as a forward, and we get Jacob Markstrom as a goalie. One of the better goalies you can get, but unfortunately, nothing else in the pack. But we'll definitely add Markstrom in as our number one goalie. We have another premium pack here. That pack could have gone better. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. We get a couple 82s to add. We get a Kyle Pozo as well. Let's upgrade the team. All right, here we go. Robertson with MPP and Recky. And we can see how everyone else is fitting in onto the team right now. Defense, still looking around the same here. But in net, we have Gibson and Markstrom. We'll make Markstrom our starter. We, have, we now have two 82 overall goalies. So, no, that's an improvement. I'm going to double check that I'm right here. We're also going to do another one of these headliner sets. Add in another player. We'll probably go for a left-handed defenseman in this one. I mean, we have Brooks Orpik as a left-handed defenseman. I'm pretty sure he's left-handed anyways. Even if he's not, whatever, at least we're getting another D-man, and that's going to help out on the defense, going from a 79 overall up to an 82 overall. So I want to make sure I'm right about this, about the diamond collectibles. Can two get you a player? It can't. Three. You need three. That's stupid. I thought it was two. That's my bad. We're not going to bother with Hot Rush then. You know what? We are. We're going to do it. And then maybe we'll do a moment to get enough for another diamond collectible so we can get an 84 overall player. It just makes sense to me in my brain. I think we need to do it. We'll play one more game of Hot Rush. We'll do one of the quick ones where it's first to five. We only need a little bit of points anyways. We're almost halfway done here. I do want to start doing moments to get the higher overall players here. We play four games of Rush. We have 692k and I need another, what, 70k? Something like that for these seven collectibles. Oh, I just saw there's another mini player pack, the EA Play. We want that pack. Definitely want to get that pack. That is an additional uh, 282 players guaranteed there. Maybe we go for that then. How many? It's first to five for this. We need to play three games. It's first to five. We need to play three games. Let's do it. This is going to take a little bit of time, but we have a chance of getting some really good stuff for the team in that pack. Uh, I didn't realize there was another one in a million points. I think we need to get that pack. We're going to get to 200k. We'll get the points that we get for uh, scoring goals and whatnot. And uh, we will start doing the Iserman or the Sarah Nurse or maybe even just do the Barzell moments. I'm not sure, but we'll definitely start doing some moments after this to get some guaranteed more, some more players on the team. We need them. And because of the money puck, I forgot about it. We're going to need to play a couple more games than three. It's going to be like five because of the money puck. Forgot about it. So apologies on that, but it won't take super long. And we will get uh, those diamond collectibles and we will get uh, everything else that we're going to need here. But got to get this done. All right, we're heading into the final game here. I need two more backhand shots. Should get this done very quickly. Once we're done this, we're going to open up the packs that we get. Then I'm going to find a moment that's going to give us a bunch of collectibles. We'll try and get that moment done. So we can get one more diamond collectible to get that 84 overall player that we want for the team. And then from there, we're just going to continue doing moments and trying to get... There's one backhand shot. Nope, they gave me the snapshot. Whatever. But we are going to do a moment to get ourselves a 85 overall right-handed defenseman, which is going to help. And then we'll hop into the moments to get ourselves, you know, that 94 Eisenman. There's a Sarah Nurse that we can get. We'll see how many we can get done in about an hour. I'm hoping to get at least one uh, that would really help out. But uh, luckily, there are a bunch of them that we can do. We may end up doing one for like an 89 overall player. And if, if we do that and hear me out why I might do that, it's less moments. Might take less time and getting that 89 would still really help. I haven't exactly decided on that yet, so I'll let you know and, and we'll figure that out. But I definitely need to start doing some moments. We are uh, we're almost into the final hour. All right, we have that done. We're over a million points. Let's go open up our stuff. Upgrade the team and hop in the moments. We have a little bit over an hour and 19 minutes to go. We also have some more objectives done. Perfect. We have uh, another 1,200 coins coming in. We're trying to get over 20k to upgrade that Drew Doughty because we're probably not going to pull his base card. And for whatever reason, EA likes to lock the auction house. So we're not going to be able to use that right now. We have the collectibles. Perfect. We have that EA. This is the pack we wanted. Two guaranteed 82 or better in this pack. See if we can get something here. We get nothing and 
nothing, and nothing, and Gabe Landeskog, and we also get Morgan Riley for defense. That helps. We also have this prime pack here. Let's open it up. Not expecting too much, but I guess you never know. Not even a color change in there. Whatever. I went ahead and traded in some silver players. We have another two gold player pack here. What I want to do is get as many gold players as possible, even if we're not going to use them on the team. So that way we can do sets to upgrade the team, getting some icons or whatever else. I'm going to go ahead and hop into this moment right here. I get 15 live collectibles for doing this. It is on Superstar and it's going to be somewhat difficult, but if I can get it done, I'm going to get us diamond collectible from trading in those 15 collectibles. I need that for this. We get an 84 overall upgradable player. I think that's a great idea to do right now. So we're going to go ahead and do this, get that player done, and then we'll hop into like the Steve Eisman moments, I think. All right, this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I might have to switch it up. We only have an hour and 12 to go. I'm going to try a couple more times, but I just, I can't score with these players right now. So um, I might have to switch it up. I want to get that 84 and I got to start working towards Eisman or Nurse or whoever else I want to do. So one million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. Okay, got it done. Thank God. So we're going to get this done, we're going to get our diamond collectibles, we'll get our 84 overall player, and then I want to do the moment to get the Adam Larson at 85 overall, just to help out on defense. And then we'll have about an hour to mess around and try and get, say, uh, the Sarah Nurse or Steve Eisenman, or if I want to try and get an HS first, uh, he only has three moments as opposed to five for Eisenman, so that might be easier. We'll see. All right, so we're going to make way the red in, he's going to be a good 84 overall left-handed defenseman for us that we can add. So the team is getting a little bit better periodically here and there. But now we need to start working towards the actual players for our team. The defense now looks decent. I mean, it's not good. I'm not going to sit there and say this is the best. We are going to go try and get that Adam Larson, though. So that'll help out a ton. Offense is looking, well, about what we were expecting here. But we're also going to try and add at least one of the moments players to that. So let's hop into the moments. We also get a mini pack here. We'll open that up. Obviously, probably not going to get anything in there, but you never know. Maybe we get something, and even if we don't, hopefully we get some gold players to help us out with these sets, and we get, well, we got a gold player at least. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the trade deadline flashback moments. So in the trade deadline flashback, we're going to do the first one here. I need to get four points with Taylor Hall, and I need to take 15 shots with them. Getting that done will give us an 85 overall Adam Larson to add to our defense. Now the good news about these moments, and really most moments in general, you don't need to finish the games. If you can get, you know, the 15 shots we've ever done, as soon as you get that done, the game will end for you. You just have to wait for the next whistle, so you can move on to the next one, and that's going to help save us a ton of time here. So I'm going to hurry up and try and get this done as fast as possible. All right, we got all of that done. We'll go ahead and get a whistle, and we will uh, have an 85 Adam Larson to add to the team. It's not the best card to get, obviously, with the Eisenman available and all the other players available, but... We need help on defense. He's the highest overall defenseman we're going to have on the team. I think it was worth it. We have an objective complete. It's another hot headliner. We're going to go get Evgeny Kuznetsov for that one there. Kuznetsov has really good speed for even at an 82 overall. So it's going to help out on the lower lines and whatnot, as hopefully we can get some better players for the offensive lines right now. We're going to try and get the Sarah Nurse, I think. Why not? We'll go after Sarah Nurse here. I'm going to go through these moments, try and get them done, and try and get them done in 55 minutes. Now, hopefully we can get it done a lot sooner than that, so we can do another one of these moments and get ourselves another player for the team. But right now, we're going for Sarah Nurse. Six and a half hours later. All right, 42 minutes left. We got the second moment done. We're doing okay on time. We got another objective done there. That's good. More objectives, the better. Let's move on to moment number three. All right, so I'm in the third moment here. It is taking so much longer than I wanted it to. I'm trying to get the dot suit shots, the backhand toe drag shots is what they call it. And I can't find the room to get the shot off. I'm at four right now. I need three more. We'll do it in the third period. We'll get it done. But damn, man, like trying to get this done, taking longer than I wanted. We will get this done though. We'll get this Sarah Nurse for the team, but that might be the only one we're able to get. All right, this should be it. All right, it's done. We did it. It took way longer than I wanted. We have what, 30 minutes to go? 27, oh my God. All right. I'm going to try. I'm going to do my best. That one took way too long. All right. I need one more top shelf goal. 19 minutes to go. I need one more. I need to get it in the third period. We'll have 18-ish minutes, maybe a little bit less to get this done. Uh, I scored all these goals and they just weren't counting as top shelf. It really sucked. Okay. We have a shot to get this done. I think no matter what happens here, we're going to finish these moments, even if it's over the, the period. I'm not going to, like, leave the game. I'm going to take the collectibles I get, right? So uh, what I think is going to happen is we're going to add this Sarah Nurse. We'll do the sets that we need to do. 
but we will not be doing anything else after these moments. Uh, there's no more games, no more moments, nothing like that, but we will do the sets that we need to do. Okay, it's done. Just under 18 minutes. Let's do this. Top right corner, five assists, block shots. Let's do it. It's on Superstar. Gonna be tough. We're gonna get this done. Um, we may not get it done in the 17, but I'm gonna finish the moment regardless. We'll add Nurse to the team, and I wanna do at least one uh, set to get like Joe Sakic as a number one center or something like that. But we'll see how many goal players we have once we're done this. All right, guys, the timer's about to run out. Uh, safe to say, I don't think we're gonna get it all done, but I'm gonna finish it. We're already in the moment. So we'll finish this, we'll get uh, the final goal I need here, and then uh, we'll go ahead and go through the menus and, and do what we need to do. Later that night. We got it done. It took way too long. So I tell you what we're going to do. We're about 15 minutes over. It's been about 3 hours, 15 minutes. So what we're going to do is next week when I hop into this, instead of doing another 3 hours, we'll do 2 hours and 45 minutes. I will not go over that time. That way we'll have 6 hours done, but we got everything done there. We're about 15 minutes over. I'm sorry it took so long. We have the nurse. We're going to go ahead and do our sets, but we cannot do anything else. We can't add any more packs. We can't add anything. What we've earned is what we've earned. Do we have any objectives complete there? We do. Perfect. We get 500 coins there. We get another hut headliner, and we get a uh, hut moment here. We get a base pack, so we'll open up our packs, um, but we can't earn anything else. It looks like we still have another objective to claim. Uh, did I not claim at all? Oh, okay, so um, 750 coins there as well. We didn't get the 20k, so we can't upgrade Doughty. We have our base pack. We're, we're going to complete the sets that we need to complete, but we cannot add anything else, like I said. So we have our base pack. Cool. All the collectibles have been already sent to the collection. We will do the sets that I was going to do. Um, I don't know how many gold players we have. We have another hut headliner to add to the team. What, what do you think we need? Probably forward. I would assume forward is what we're going to want. We'll go with uh, Alish Hemsky for this one. We'll add them to the team. Sarah Nurse. Welcome to the team. 95 overall Sarah Nurse. Uh, like I said, next week we'll do two hours and 45 minutes. And we'll be a full six hours. That's what we're going to do here. No matter what, I want Joe Sakic. I believe he's under the Solani set. Not positive on that. Yeah, he is. So we're going to get Joe Sakic for the team. So what we're going to do, we're just trading in 40 gold players. Uh, looking here, we have a decent amount of gold players. We might be able to do two of these sets. If that's the case, we can get another one. That would be massive. Oh, I don't want to get rid of Kuznetsov. So we're just on the verge, but we can get Kuznetsov on the team. Take somebody out. We're going to do that. We're also going to be adding Paul Coffey. Now, I'm not going to make you watch me open this entire pack because you have to watch every single player. And this is the dumbest thing that EA's programmed into the game. But when we're done, I'll show you the finished team. There's our Joe Sackick. All right, so let's take a look at what I was able to do after about three hours. A little bit over three hours, but we completed some sets. We got everything done. And I went ahead and upgraded players using coins because I want to start almost from scratch next week. You know what I mean? I want the three hours to be like three hours from the beginning on top of what we've done. So I only have 3,000 coins left, and I've emptied out my collection of gold players and silver players, and we're, we're going to see what we can get here. So... Next week, this is the team we're going to start with. We have 95 Nurse, 84 Sakic, and 88 Robertson. Line 2, Reki at 83, Trasha at 84, and 82 Alish Hemsky. Line 3, we have 82 Ben, 83 Kuznetsov, 82 Terry, 82 Landeskog, 82 MPP, and 82 Forsberg. Like I was saying earlier, I'm absolutely not satisfied with how this looks, so next week we're doing this all over again. I'll probably go after Steve Eisenman, maybe go after Martin Natchez or Matt Barzell, do some more hot rush, get some more packs, try and upgrade some players. For defense, we have the 84 Wade Redmond with the 85 Adam Larson. Drew Doughty at an 82. We didn't hit 20k, so I couldn't upgrade him to 85. I think it would have been 84. Would have been 84. Uh, so we'll see if we can use the auction house next time, because that's going to change the way we can do our series. We have 83 Riley with him, and then we have uh, 82 Orpic and 82 Fox. And in net, we do have that 82 Markstrom with 82 Gibson. Seven days from now, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to upgrade this team. I'm going to make it as good as I can in two hours and 45 minutes. I'm not doing another three because I cheated a little bit here today. We're going to take time off the clock next week. Regardless, I appreciate you guys watching. Have a wonderful night. Let me know down below if you have any questions. And if you need any help building a team, please let me know. I, I did my best here, but it could be a lot better. It really could. I didn't have the best time management this week, and I'm hoping next week we can do things a little bit better. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Stay frosty.